Hi, welcome to Kelsey Ed, and today we're going to be looking at the relationship between speed and torque, as well as making some simple gear ratio calculations. As always, please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can be the first to know when a new video is available. In gearing relationships, we have what is called an inverse or opposite reaction between speed and torque, which is otherwise known as strength. What that means is, when the speed is increased, an inverse reaction is true for torque, which would then be decreased. Inversely again, or the opposite, when the speed is decreased, the torque inversely would be increased. We use gears in many mechanisms. For example, your bicycle. When you want to go up a hill, you drop into a low gear. This is a small gear that for every turn you produce will turn the wheels less. It goes slower, but the strength is increased to get you up the hill. This is a mechanical advantage that makes it easier for you to pedal on a hard hill. When the driving gear is smaller than the driven gear, you will increase your torque or strength. Look at these gears. The input or the driven gear has 36 teeth. The output gear has 12 teeth. Because the driving gear is bigger than the driven gear, the speed will increase. But how many times faster will it be? Let's watch it turn. Notice that they're both pointing upwards and we're going to see how many times the smaller one will spin from just one rotation of the larger wheel. One, two, three. So how do we work this out mathematically? Well, the driver gear has 36 teeth and the driven gear has 12 teeth. Because the driver gear is bigger than the driven gear, we know that this is a speed increase and a torque decrease. But exactly how much? Well, 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. That gives us a gear ratio of 3 to 1 because the smaller gear turned 3 times for every one rotation of the larger gear. The same can be applied the opposite way. Let's look at these gears. The input or driver gear has 12 teeth. The output or the driven gear has 60 teeth. How many times do I need to turn this input gear to make the driven gear turn once? One, two, three, four, five. So again, let's look at the calculations. This one was a torque increase because the driver gear had only 12 teeth and the driven gear had a larger amount of teeth. 60. But the calculation will still remain the same and we're going to divide the larger number by the small one. So 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5 and that will give us a gear ratio of 5 to 1. So that's 5 turns of the smaller gear for every one turn of the larger. Okay so let's recap. If we want to have a torque increase and a speed decrease then we need to use a smaller driver gear and a larger driven gear. If we want to have a speed increase but a torque decrease then we use a larger driver gear and a smaller driven gear. And to calculate a gear ratio we divide the number of teeth on the larger gear by the number of teeth on the smaller gear. For example a 60 tooth gear to a 12 tooth gear is 60 divided by 12 to make 5 and that is a 5 to 1 gear ratio. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more new content soon.